Hello Capricorn. Welcome to the channel. This is Asnoitsha here. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for liking, sharing, and subscribing to the channel. And for those of you who are new, welcome. So this is a general love reading, and I'll be looking into the feelings and emotions of the person that you're connecting with on a romantic level, what it is that they are feeling and thinking towards you currently. This is someone who either you have had a connection with in the past, a relationship could be present, could also be a situationship. For others of you, there may just be a lot of energy where there is an exchange of energy, glances, and you know there's something special there, but no one's really speaking up. So this person may be Wow, <laughs> love. This person may be somebody who you, I'm literally getting somebody who you work with, actually. I'm getting that right now, intuitively. But this could also be somebody from your past. If you are not actively seeking or, or thinking about somebody right now, and if you're wondering who this individual is, and you're not really trying to feel or um, engage energetically with that person of your, of interest, this then means that this is somebody from your past who's actually remembering you. And the energy is so intense that it comes through. I have seen that happen in these readings. It is quite common. Okay, wow. Overwhelming feelings. This person is so overwhelmed and they hide. They're not really talking to you much. Here we have nourishment followed by surrender, embracing the shadow, love, doubt, play, illusion, power, and then we have crisis under the bottom of the deck, the overall arching theme. I also wanted to announce for those of you who are new, my method of reading is just slightly different. I do channel through my higher intuitive self to get the answers that I need. I don't channel through any spirit guides. I never have, and I have very good reasons for that. At the end of this reading, I do channel Archangels Michael, Raphael, Gabriel, and Uriel to provide you with some advice based on what comes out today. I'm going to express to you what it is that your person of interest is feeling towards you currently. My dear Capricorn, the connection that I have with you, it has taken me a while to realize that you are the perfect mate the perfect person. You have this way of fulfilling me emotionally, spiritually, and physically. And for that, I wonder why I have behaved in the way that I have and the things that I have said to you. Why would I do something like this to someone who could potentially be so perfect for me. There's a part of me that has changed. I have surrendered to you. Anything you say, anything you do, in my heart I'm willing to go ahead with that. There's a feeling of belonging where I feel as though I belong to you and you belong to me. This emotion that I have, it is very strong. And it feels quite old, this feeling, as though I've known you from before. I have surrendered my heart my mind, my body, to you. 
I also feel that in this connection, there is this desire of embracing the shadow that I have. I'm used to seeing dark things in my life, being through dark times. There's a part of me that has been very dark, and you've seen that part. But that is who I am. It's a piece of me. And I want you to accept it. Because without it, that's not the real me. I have been very impulsive, compulsive, and aggressive in the past. And you have seen that side of me. Truly, that's a side I never really wanted you to see. But you have. Now, so much has happened between us. There's a sense of awkwardness. This feeling of being very uncomfortable. It's hard for me to connect with you because of this kind of distance that exists. I do love you. The love that I have for you is pure. It's true. It's unconditional. I do feel that there's this close feeling as if somehow you and I are connected. And I don't know why it is that I love you this much. A part of me doubts that this connection might even work out. There's a lack of faith and a lack of trust now. For a very long time, I have hoped and wished that in this connection we can always keep this friendship, keep that side of things going. But that's not what's happening. In you, I have found someone who is fun, someone to play with, the sense of adventure. You make me feel young again, vibrant again. In you, I see this sense of mischief, which makes me feel, which makes me want to be always with you and to always have fun and to feel alive. But now I doubt that because of what I have said and done. I do feel that there's this illusion, this illusion that I hide behind, that I hold in front. I don't want you to know what's really in my heart. I hide behind a false mask behind a veil. So many things have happened and it is difficult for me to open up to you. I am emotionally detached and I have been for quite some time. I don't understand what I can do to change the sense of awkwardness, this feeling of being uncomfortable. I hide behind this veil. I'm embarrassed. I also feel that there's a part of me in this connection. And I feel that you make me feel weak in the knees, emotionally vulnerable. You are someone who is very powerful. You command respect. You deserve respect. 
I do feel that in this connection, there's this wonderful sense of seduction. You can tempt me without even trying. But this is why you make me weak in the knees and emotionally vulnerable. Overall, right now, I am very overwhelmed. So much that I feel a sense of impatience, mental anguish, frustration. I need time to sort out all of my emotions because it is all so overwhelming. I do feel that in this connection, you and I, we have been through a lot. And what I have done and the way I've behaved, this awkwardness has truly made me push myself to the side, away from you, but it's bothering me because I love you and I don't want to be awkward around you. I have surrendered myself to you, yet I do not speak. It eats me up on the inside. I don't know what to do. All right, Capricorn. So, there is something here that happened where the situation between the both of you, it's become very uncomfortable, very awkward. And this individual really does want to reach out to you. However, because of the situation that occurred, they just don't know how. They just don't know how, and that's why they're hiding. You have here the illusion card, hiding behind that veil. And currently, they're not in a state of mind that's very calm. Currently, which is the overall arching theme here, they're absolutely overwhelmed. And usually when people are overwhelmed, when an individual like this is, they don't truly reach out, they don't talk much. They're very much quiet because they're trying to sort out and focus on certain things that are important in their life at that time. Because this person knows that they need to settle this type of feeling and situation. Things were different before, now they're quite different. Okay. So the next set of cards I'm going to have a look at, that is the Lover's Path Tarot. <clears throat> With the Lover's Path Tarot, I look into something that may have occurred that caused the problem in the first place. What happened when things were Starting off, things may have been very, very nice, very sweet. However, at some point in time, I got two cards here. At some point in time, things started to turn sour. Not so great with this connection. Typically, I take out one card for here. Um, here you got two. You also have Ace of Cups. Under the bottom of the deck, you have the Four of Coins, King of Arrows. So those of you that have not had closure, for some of you that may have felt this person ghosted you, um, some of you, you may have simply just had a disconnect with this person where they used to maybe message you and talk to you frequently, but now it's very uh, infrequent. And it's 
It's like maybe once a month, maybe they contact you just to keep you in the loop of things, but that's it. It's not as it used to be. So there's a lack of communication. Uh, this is for those of you that are going through something like that. <clears throat> and these I read in the reverse. Here it talks about how this person started to feel that there was a lack of money, a lack of wealth, and a lot of insecurities. Here it talks about being miserly with wealth, with talents. Conversely, being an overly generous spendthrift. Need to converse and protect resources. So this individual, for some of you, you were with a person and this could be, it's a, it's a generic, or not generic, but it's a general reading. Uh, it's generic for everybody. This is something to do with money. Either you were having struggles, but what I'm seeing here is that this person was having struggles with money. Now, it could be that they just didn't have much. It could be that they were getting enough, but they were spending too much. And it's all about money, materialistic things, because this individual was having a problem when it came to settling down and literally saving that type of money so that obviously the both of you can be together. It's a matter of working like a team. And from this person's point of view, things weren't working out their way simply because not you, but they were spending too much. The resources, things were being wasted. <clears throat> we also have here the King of Arrows. Hmm. This person felt that they had no authority at some point in time. They were lacking that sense of responsibility that they once had, and they were acting and becoming emotionally detached. Here, your person of interest was placing too much trust on the intellect, and they were being too critical when it came to connections, and they were emotionally detached. So there was they were placing too much trust on the intellect. So here we have intellect and here we have money. So materialistic. This person was very um, materialistic when it came to uh, love or anything like that. What I'm seeing here, especially with this card, the Ace of Cups, and then I'll just interpret the whole thing for you. Because what I'm seeing here, this person really just denied love. They were just denying it. They were all about... <clears throat> The on the intellect, being very rational, being very practical, very critical about things. Not only that, but there was materialistic gain here too. So this person was thinking very logically, and they were also thinking about finances and future, how to settle down. But where's the love? There's a lack of that here. At, at least back then, there was a lack of, because you have the Ace of Cups, and this person was ignoring certain things that were coming about within this connection. Here it talks about not really wanting to be receptive, not really truly being as emotional as one should be or could be, not feeling inspired, and there's a lack of satisfaction. Here with this Ace of Cups, it talks about rejection of others' affections, <clears throat> creatively blocking, a sense of disillusionment with love, sadness or melancholy so rejecting another person's affections right creatively blocking the other person disillusionment with love feeling sad and feeling melancholy so this person was empty they were very cold they were very detached they were very calculated, very rational, which is great. But when it comes to love, that stuff has to go out the window, right? And this person was truly not that type of an individual. At least at that point in time, they were not. Remember the first set of cards I just did, those are current. So you did have love. You had it right there. You had love. And with the love that they're accepting now, that they're willing to give you now, they did not have that love for you before. They were refusing to give it to you. They had it because the card showed up, but they were creatively blocking it. They didn't want you to have it. So you're dealing with somebody that was focused on something else, Capricorn. That's what happened here. It was related to money kind of issues. 
It was related to them literally just being detached from their emotions and on purpose trying to keep you at a distance. <clears throat> okay. I have here the beginner's tarot. <clears throat> Ooh, we have the chariot. Very nice. Hardly get to see that card. So here I look into any actions, any plans, any intentions this person may have. My goodness gracious me. So you got a couple of cards here that just fell out. Uh, three. Okay. Wow. Again, sword. <clears throat> okay. You have here the chariot, ten of wands, death, knight of pentacles, then you have ace of swords. <clears throat> the chariot card here, it does talk about how this person realizes that they have to make a decision and it has to happen fast. Do I see them coming towards you? Typically, I would say yes, but because you have the Ten of Wands right next, I don't see them coming to you anytime soon. I see them making a decision, making a decision that what do I want? Do I want my Capricorn? Answer is yes, they do, because they are racing towards you. There's no doubt about that. Here, with the Ten of Wands, one of the problems is they're going through a lot. They've taken on a lot in terms of responsibilities and burdens. It's gotten to the point where they're very overwhelmed. When they're overwhelmed, they can't give you the time, energy, and effort that you deserve when it comes to this type of a connection. Certain things that they may possibly do or give to you, it's just an entire problem. So it is a problem. <clears throat> it's for them, um, they're unable to to resolve certain things that are going on in their life and it is affecting you and that's an issue here like I said it's a problem here they're trying to make way and trying to carry all these burdens all these um, responsibilities and they don't have room to be with you now this is 3737 I'm seeing the number in my mind's eye typically I don't know why, but that number comes up when I give this particular example. And the example is if this individual is busy with so many other things and they can only give you 37% of their time, is it worth it? Is it worth it for you? Some of you may say yes, even, even a little bit I will take. I know that. But the truth is 100% should be given because then you can work as a team and build a future together. But 37% is not going to work. And this person, remember... They are logical, they are rational, they're very practical, they're very critical, right? So they're going to think like that. And what this person thought was, you know what, if I can't be with them 100%, I'm not going to try to be with them at all. And that's the issue here. Some of you may have wanted this person, and that's fine, and they at some point may have wanted you, but because of the burdens and the restrictions and problems that they had, they could not have you as one of these extra things that they're working on. They couldn't put you in there. At some point in time between these cards, and I mean, that's a death card right there, right? So everything's going to reboot, restart, which is excellent. Um, it got to the point where their knees buckled, fell down, can't do anything, they're gone. And then you have the death card, right? So I do see that this individual, at some point in time, they are going to change. I do see that here. Because they see that I couldn't give my Capricorn all my time, energy, and effort. But now that I've reduced a few things in my life, now that I've allocated some tasks and responsibilities to others, I have the ability of bringing Capricorn into my life and making things better. At that point, it won't be just the 37%. Now they can probably just go 100%, and that's fine. Then you guys are fine and good to go. 
Here, we also have the death card. After they realize that they're very overwhelmed to the point where they're starting to feel sick. <clears throat> I'm getting here that Crosswatcher may not be feeling so well. A feeling in their gut, like the st stomach turning because of what they've done. They, they feel kind of sick to their stomach because of what they did to you. Some of some people out there, I'm feeling, I'm getting that. Um, it just makes them very nervous too. I, I'm not, uh, it, I'm just getting that intuitively. So I'm just throwing that out there. If anybody resonates, let me know. Here we have death. And um, just going back to what I was saying, sometimes I see these things and it's literally one person that's going through it or feeling it, which is kind of strange. So that's why I have to say these things because that also means that I'm, I'm focusing on, on all these. All right. We have here the death card. This person wants to have a restart in this particular connection with this particular situation. Here you have an individual who has fallen and this is this person from before where they're carrying all of this. They're just like, you know what? I'm done. I can't deal with this anymore. But then what happens in the distance? There's the dawn, the rising of the sun, a new day, a fresh start. Everything is revitalized. Now, we also have a beautiful card here, the Knight of Pentacles. Some people complain about this card being the slow um, knight, but slow and steady wins the race. And that is so true. Here we do have this person who has thought about you for a long time. They've thought long and hard regarding this connection. Remember, the one good thing I would say is the fact that this person didn't just rush into something. They are very calculative. They're very logical, rational when it comes to matters of the heart. And here with the Knight of Pentacles, they have thought about this long and hard. They know what they want and they want you. And they are coming back into your life. This is not somebody that's going to be wishy-washy, okay? They're serious. This is not somebody that's just going to come and go just like that. Nope. This is somebody here and they're here to stay and they're coming back as a knight. <clears throat> because they're kind of nervous. They don't want to be too naive, immature in a way, like a page. And they don't want to be very overbearing like a king. So they're choosing to come in as a knight. Now, we also have here Ace of Swords. This is the overall arching theme. Um, this person feels, sorry, this person feels that they want to cut to the heart of the matter. They want to talk about the truth and they want to have an equal give and take and they want to start a connection with the truth itself. So in the past, there could have been, there could have been lies. There could have been white lies in the past, uh, but now going forward, they don't want anything like that. They want things to be very truthful, honest, and still once again, using the brilliance of their mind. They want to use their mind to the best of their abilities. Um, and this is for whatever, for, for to just to be with you, to start a connection or, or whatever it is. But they think very much. They are they're huge in terms of thinker. I'm getting the word the thinker. Well, that statue, right? The famous statue, the thinker. This person does think a lot. And thinking is fine. It's just a matter of doing. And I do see here, at least with the Knight of Pentacles, there is going to be an offer coming through. And it is, it's a solid offer. So you don't have to be afraid of that one. If you're resonating with the majority of this reading, then it's going to be okay. There's no reason to be afraid if this person uh, comes back into your life. And usually when they do, and if they start acting like a Knight of Pentacles, they're trying to give you a solid offer. This person, yes, they're very logical, but the only reason they're coming back is because that is their language of love. Everybody has a different way of loving somebody. Some people may not have the time to be with another individual, but they may give them gifts. And for some people, just receiving a gift, that action itself might be enough. For others, people may not even give any type of gift, but they just give them their time. 
And so sometimes the time is great, quality time. When the people give gifts, they may be working, for example, trying to build a future with who? With you in the future, uh, to build something with you. So there's different ways people love people. And I know not everybody's going to agree to that, but I have seen that throughout my readings. And a lot of people find people who have different ways of showing them love. Some people might not be so intimate, yet they absolutely adore each other. Some people have to be intimate, otherwise they feel like they're just not together, right? So there's different ways. Um, this person has a very, almost very cold kind of um, a persona. However, inside they do love you a lot. I'm also getting intuitively, and they're looking out for your best interest. I'm, I'm getting that right now. Okay. Just going to do a quick prayer. All right. I have here Archangel Answer Cards. These messages are brought to you by Archangels Michael, Raphael, Gabriel, and Uriel. Interesting. First card is the strongest, improving health. We have no. Okay. Need to clarify the no. Okay. We have here a year from now. Let go. If you're too easily available, this person's not going to value you. You're going to have to keep your distance from this person. And then eventually they will start to chase. But in the meantime, what I'm seeing here is that you're going to have to be the one that's going to keep your distance from this person. They're only going to miss you after you're gone. Yeah. The majority of the cards here are indicating <clears throat> it's best for you to take your time and to let this person rush into your life. Rush chariot and um, don't go chasing after this person don't even like wait for this person um, just focus on your life do your own thing because I see here that a lot has to happen with this person emotionally and in their life in order for them to realize the value of you or the value that they had and they lost it, and then they gain and understand the worth of it, and that is you. And then they turn into this whole chariot, and they come forward, charging, trying to get you back. But it's only going to happen after they realize the loss. And unfortunately, that's what's happening here. This has affected some people out there because you have improving health. So that's Excellent. I'm happy to hear that. Your health is going to improve. Remember, health is wealth. Health is happiness. You don't have your health. You got nothing. Okay? And health is affected through our emotions, of course, physically as well. But when it talks about improving health, this is you focusing and healing your mind, body, spirit, and your soul. Many parts that are contained within the one that is you. Here we also have, they're saying here, no, a year from now. What I'm seeing here, it may not happen a year from now. This is a very odd combination, but I also have reconsider right underneath it. So reconsider what it is that you are going to say and do in regards to this person, because no, whatever you want might not occur within this year itself. For some of you, it might. But as long as you let go, things will turn out better for you in the near future. What does let go mean? Let go of connecting with this person. Don't call them. Don't text them. Don't check up on them. Don't stalk them. If you feel something went wrong with them, honestly, try to find out through somebody else. But don't, don't try to check up on them and go to their place. I've had people that have done that. And um, 
it totally works. It backfires. It is not good because they think that you're stalking them. So let's not do that. Okay. If you really, really think that there's a major concern, definitely do it then. However, here the recommendation is to let go because when you do, this person will start to value you because they'll miss you. And when they value you, then there's a worth to it. And once you are worth something, then they're afraid that they're going to lose you because now you have value and worth, right? So you can only get to that stage and that level once you have them missing you. And if you're always around, then that's going to be a problem because they're not going to get a chance to miss you and have that value. Sometimes relationships take a long time and it's up to you if you want to wait, but they're also saying you can reconsider as well what type of actions you're going to take. Here we do have take action. And when you do reconsider what type of action you are going to take, which is what I just said, there will be success. Either way, whatever type of action you take, whatever decision you make, there's going to be success. You have success right here. We also have success right under let go. It's right under let go. So for me, <clears throat> there's going to be success after you start letting go of this person. So try to just avoid them and don't focus on them. Focus on, use that energy. Okay. The, the stuff that you're doing when you're thinking about this individual, right? You're sending out these like radio wave frequencies. All right. Use that energy that you're sending out, put it into a painting, write a song poem. Do something with that energy. Express it somehow. Use that as inspiration and an experience in your life that you've had. Because one day when you look back on it, you'll be like, wow, that was some dark times, right? We do that. But some of the best songs, I personally have written songs, like some of my best songs have been because of heartbreak. It's ridiculous. It's terrible. But Use that energy, channel it to something else, a hobby, right? A sports, it could be anything at all, but channel that energy and don't dwell on that only. Here we do have, if you believe, the connection that you have, it truly does depend on your faith. Now, it's not always just about faith. It's also about do you deserve this or do you deserve someone better? Okay. As time goes by, you may think that, you know what, I want somebody who's more emotional because we have seen Capricorn, your person of interest, they have a different way of loving. Okay. Some of you may be okay with that. You need to understand you cannot change people, especially the masculine energy, the way they love. They're very stubborn that way masculine energy, not just men, but women that also have masculine energy more. Um, it's very, very difficult. You can't just change somebody. They may change for a couple weeks or so, but then they're going to go back to the same behaviors and habits because that's a part of who they are. That's their nature. If you don't feel comfortable with this person, then most likely this person is not for you. And if it's causing problems in your health, you come first. You take care of yourself first. And if you think this is not the right one, then this person is not the right one. And you will have somebody out there still. At the end of the day, there's still going to be success. And within the next year, some things might pop up in your life that you did not expect because you're going to start to attract positive energies. If you believe, then you will get, at the very least, something that's owed to you karmically something that's written in your book of life, which is all positive. But if you remain negative, you will be attracting negative energies and they create blockages. My dear Capricorn, that is your reading. I hope I was able to provide you with some clarity, some guidance in your situation. Do let me know in the comments below if any of this has resonated. <clears throat> I wanted to mention on my other, not on my other channel, but I do have another channel, which is Asnoitia Audio. I have some videos on relationships, on spiritual connections. I have one video that I just uploaded a while ago that was on negative energies, <clears throat> what they are, how to get rid of them, what we should do to avoid these type of things. I also have some packages on my website, www.asnoitia.com. 
And the packages I have right now are basically how to teach you uh, how to get rid of negative energy. So there's one called the Chakra Checkup. Um, there's one right now that's a self-help guide, uh, which is a holy light package, as well as plus with the holy light package, water wellness makes a great combination. That is for those of you who may have improving health related issues. So you need that. I would recommend that you get that. And once you do it, you'll notice a positive difference. It's one of my best sellers. I'm very happy that, I mean, I had to go through a lot in order to create that. So many things, so many years. Um, but I've created that and it's helped a lot of people all around the world. And I'm so happy and grateful that it has helped. It teaches you how to get rid of negative energy and how to remain positive and to keep that positivity near you. All right, Capricorn, you all take care. Stay safe. Thank you so much for tuning in again. I'll see you again. Bye now.